check him out. Check out his feelers. See his antenna? Yeah. Now look at the red. Look at it when his wings are open. I have no idea what kind of moth that is, but it is beautiful. Whoa. Isn't that the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. My God, he's so fuzzy. You just want to pet him like a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Gary would appreciate that. No, I know. <laughs> She'd be jealous. Dude, I can see your eyeballs. You see that? Right there. Eyeball. You know, we always have to just stop and listen once in a while. You know, sometimes we're like in this mindset that we have to keep on progressing onto the next challenge or the next phase. But really, sometimes you just need to just slow down and just, you know, listen. Kind of keeps you calm, prevents you from like completely stressing out over anything, really. Dougie, don't disturb me now. I got work. Get some soil samples. Looks like you'll be away from people. Yeah. There we go. All right. So today has been filled with soil collection, stream flow calculations. Not calculations, just in the data from that. A whole bunch of other stuff. Whew. I don't know. And we've been doing that over the course of, well, I'd say like five hours. Probably less though. I just imagine it being longer. Oh no, I'm drifting away. Oh, other way, other way, other way, other way. One-handed status. Okay. We're good. So, I'm paddling towards the inflow. We find ourselves in the exact same area as yesterday. The problem is, is that we can't measure like the flow of the stream because it's too wide. And so we can't measure with our measuring tape because it's too short. So what we're planning on doing is just um, measuring the outflow. Total outflow equals the total inflow, right? And so we have two inflows down and this is the last inflow, but there's only one outflow. So we're thinking about um, measuring the outflow and we're just gonna like do a whole simple subtraction thing. We'll find out what the inflow of this is. So yeah, that's our plan. Might as well out getting the car so we don't end up having to paddle through that little maze again. All right, wait, I wanna see if I can reenact a part in the trailer for Superman. Okay, trying to put slow motion on this. Probably though, it might have been recording before the movie. Cute little theater. Yeah. Oh, Debbie, you want to go ahead and take that? Really? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> That's next to my, my professor wife. <laughs> professor wife. <laughs> I know, I said that to her. I call my wife by the wrong name every now and then, too. It's part of the aging thing. Uh, Leslie Bruns is our director of outreach and development. Uh, Leslie is one of the uh, longer tenured members of our current staff. Uh, we have had some amazing changes in our staff and uh, have some wonderful new people. And Leslie's been with us for about nine months now. Out of August. Yeah. <laughs> but Leslie uh, is the person who really put this program together. Uh, she does amazing things, but did most of the heavy lifting and putting this event together. And Leslie is going to introduce the film. Thank you. And since I'm development director first, I'm going to give you a little plug. For, I'm so happy everyone's here, old faces, new faces. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And it is my great pleasure to introduce this film that we are so proud of, uh, produced by ESLT and Bristlecone Media, Valleys and Vistas, Preserving the Wild Side of California, world premiere. Yeah. <laughs> 